When I was at university studying philosophy in London, I worked in a shop in Hampstead selling paint and tiles and other sorts of things and uh, that probably ultimately led me into what I do. I thought it was a horrible thing to work in a shop. Um, it, it was, I was never going to earn enough money and it was boring. But in actual fact, it doesn't matter what you do really, you just do it and do it in an interesting way. I'll get people come in and they'll say, how did you get into this? They come and say that because they're like, I really like this. How on earth did you think of doing this? I was in New York. And while I was in New York, I was there for about a year, trying to figure out after doing this uh, philosophy degree, what am I gonna do? And I came across this paint company called Pearl Paints. And they used to supply paint to the uh, abstract expressionists like Pollock and Jasper Johns and Cy Twombly because they used lots of paint. They didn't use just a tube of oil paint. They were doing large format abstract expressionist paint. So the point is these world-class um, modern artists were using house paint and that I thought, well, I'm going to sell house paint and it is okay. It's not just a sort of boring working class product. It's a product for everyone and it can be made attractive. So I came to London, set up a store in Clapham and sold house paint, but I sold it as if I was selling artists paint. I think the thing that makes the place most unique is me. <laughs> not, that's not necessarily complimentary. I give colours funny names, I present them in a way, and hopefully people will paint their houses in these colours. You have a responsibility if you own shop. It should be theatrical. It's a stage for people to come in. This is my work of art. I mean, it's not much, but it's my work of art. You know, I've put something together that people can say, I really like that and I'm proud of my little world that I've created.